All right, what's up, everybody? You got your boy Blue Water Cowboy Mike back in the house on this beautiful three days after the New Year's. First of all, Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope you guys had a great New Year's and an awesome Christmas. Um, here we are. Okay, so uh, we're going to pull names for our Christmas giveaway. And uh, on top of that, uh, I got a oyster sauce pork recipe I want to share with you guys. And we got some bottom fishing videos that um, we collected on the way that I'm going to unload uh, a few clips on this episode. So hang on, stay tuned, and um, let's start cooking. Yeah, you. All right, what's up, everybody? You got your boy Blue Water Cowboy Mike back in the house <clears throat> on this awesome two days after Christmas. <laughs> so first of all, hope you guys had a great uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas again. Uh, the Christmas month is not over. So don't don't feel bad if you, you're still celebrating Christmas because we truly don't know when God was born. But anyway, uh, here we are. Um, I got a couple of extra uh, videos that I wanted to share with you folks. And uh, on top of that, I wanted to show you guys another cooking video. So today, <clears throat> I'm doing oyster sauce pork. So, uh, in my family, a lot of my, my kids and me, we love salty meat with rice. Okay, we're Asian people. Uh, most Asian people do it like that. So today we're gonna do oyster sauce pork with boiled egg inside. So how that works is that we fry it up and then we boil it a little bit, make it soft. And then uh, we, we have it with fresh vegetables and rice. But anyway, okay, so let's, let's get started. So today we're starting off with some pork butt. And as you can see, it was like five bucks, five dollars and 73 cents. And then I just chopped it up into little, little pieces like this, okay? So we got, we got pork shoulder or pork butt, we got garlic salt, we got sesame oil, we got uh, oyster sauce, we got a lot of ginger and garlic, we got jalapeno peppers, and then we got uh, ginger, what is it, no, cilantro and green onions with our boiled egg that we already peeled, okay, hard boiled egg. So okay, let's, let's start the mix. Alright, so we're gonna... Basically, let's get the fire going. Okay, so we're gonna heat up the, 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 the pan and we're gonna start off with the pork. Okay, awesome pork. Now in the pork, we put our green onions and ginger into there. Okay, as you can see. And then we're gonna lace it up with some sesame oil. Just like that, just so it gets on everything. And then we're gonna season this with garlic salt. Okay, not that much, the usual. And then some black pepper. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna put that out of the way. Okay, then we've got oyster sauce. We're gonna put about, uh, just that much. Not a whole lot. Okay, everything is, everything is just by eye and to taste. So you don't have to uh, be perfect with your mix, okay? And then we got the cilantro and green onions. We're gonna throw into here. We, we chopped up, not very big. Just little pieces. You can big it, make it as big or as small as you want. Okay, so we got that. Oh, one more thing I got, I gotta add in there. Um, with our pork, it's gonna be oyster sauce. It's gonna have some sweetness to it. So we're gonna put about quarter cup of sugar, okay, a third cup of sugar maybe, to the equal amount of salt. So I put as much sugar as there was sesame oil. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. We mix it up, we mix it up, okay? I'm gonna do this as fast as we, I can so we can go fishing. <laughs> okay, so we got the sesame oil in here, we got the mix in here, let me tell you, this thing 
It smells wonderful. Okay? So we got that in there. The, the pan's heating up nice and hot. Okay? Take off the glove. All right, so we're gonna start off with just a little bit of oil because we don't want it to burn. We want it to get started. Once you put your pork in there, all the pork is gonna render fat and <clears throat> it's gonna get real, 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 real saucy. All right, so here, let's get another shot at this. Okay. All right, here we go. can see what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna burn it on all the sides so you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna let it sit a little bit okay and as it burns it cooks a little bit we're gonna start flipping each piece okay isn't that gorgeous look at that So as it's going, you check it. You said it, it caramelizes like that. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this burnt sugar uh, on the meat. And what that does is it sears it so all the flavors stay in the pork. I wish you guys could smell this right now. This thing is just awesome. Okay, so another thing you guys <clears throat> don't know, but I used to work for Lao Yi Chai, which is like the oldest Chinese restaurant in Waikiki, all of all of Honolulu. So, and I learned how to make mini chicken and stuff like this while I was working there because the I was the fisherman. Okay, so for some of you guys know that don't know, no Chinese cook is gonna teach you their recipes okay and the only reason they taught me was because I gave them fish hello so in order for the you know in order for them to make sure that they got their uh, fish fish fix on they had they, they had to take care of Captain Mike <laughs> so when we asked ask them how to make you know uh, uh, beef broccoli trust me they were really fast to show me how to do it you know what I mean and uh, even this so I don't I don't know the exact um, uh, name for this dish this dish but I just call it oyster sauce pork my kids love this this is this is perfect for the contractor construction worker to take to work because uh, this holds up you know and the longer you actually have this in the fridge the better it tastes Look at that. Tell me you're not hungry. Okay, so I'm caramelizing this, okay? And as soon as this caramelizes, we're gonna put a little bit of water inside and then we're gonna drop the egg in there and we're gonna let it steam or uh, whatever you call broil, boil. While we're waiting for that, um, let's add some water. We're gonna add some water. So I'm gonna add water just so it can get started and then we can go fishing okay i figure that's 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 the best way because once i add water um you're gonna let it boil down and um uh dehydrate or uh we call that um reduce so we got the water in there it's boiling up okay it's reducing so now, this is when you throw your egg in there, okay? You drop your eggs, boiled eggs, here and there, okay? You see that? All right? And then, this is when we put the jalapenos. Look at that. Look at that, guys. 
Isn't that awesome? Yee! All right, all right. All right, while everything's boiling down right now, I'm gonna throw in some onions. And what's gonna happen is this onion's gonna break down and they're gonna caramelize all in this broth. Look at that. That's gonna be awesome. All right. Sophie, quiet. All right, so we're gonna put this, we're gonna, we're gonna put a cover on this and we're gonna let it boil for about 30, 40 minutes just so the, the meat can come tender and the the flavors can get infused to the meat and the egg so i'm gonna i'm gonna cook some rice uh and, and be ready for this so anyway um let's go fishing so on this episode uh i think i went out with sai i went out with captain sai at stacy's uh window screen and then uh, I think I did another another day with Brian and um, Paulette. So I don't know exactly what happened throughout those 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 two days, but I know we caught some fish. So I'm gonna share it with you folks. Anyway, let's go holo holo, guys. All right, everybody, we're back out in the ocean. We're here with Captain Captain Sai at Stacy's uh, mobile screen. The bug stops here. You guys want to? You guys need it? You guys window screens fixed? That's the number. Yeah, yo, we dropping lures. We got blue blue Toki Doki in the house. We got a st silent stormtrooper, and we got a triple blue diamond. We're dropping out. We're just leaving the harbor. As you can see, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Running a little bit late. Water's really flat. We're heading towards Cocoa Head. We're we'll gonna pick up a Ono, and then we're gonna do some bottom fishing for Nabeta. So, hang in there. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, y'all. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Yeah, you. We're bottom fishing. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> All right. Ooh! 
That's a fatty. Oh boy. I'll never break my hook. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Yeah, I need a puppy. Yellow spot. Yeah. Crispy critters. Crispy critters. Chum in the cooler. That's a donkey. Yeah, you. That's a donkey. Keep it, keep it tight. Yeah, you. We got a double. Using cuttlefish. Stay tuned, guys. Boodster. 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 Double booster. Yeah, yeah. Better. We're getting a little better. There you. Right. Oh, it's making noise. Poor thing. <laughs> Poor crispy critter. Yeah, you. Sweet, sweet. It's gonna be delicious in a frying pan. Sweet, sweet. How do you know it's good when it bites both hooks? Oh, yeah. The pink one. That's the one. The pink one. You gotta give him a kiss. Oh boy. The pink tail with the lipstick on top. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, you. Boom. Pink tail number two. That's what you got. A lot of fish. Seven hours the other day, trolling, never catch nothing. Come out here with a piece of shrimp. Black dinner. Valley of the Kings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I got one. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fish of 2023. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, we're back in the kitchen, guys. And we're finishing up this oyster sauce pork with a little bit of green onions and cilantro. And over here, we have an audio problem. I don't know if the microphone was off, but I gotta do a voiceover on this one. So, so here we are, we're, st we're stirring in the, the aromatics into the oyster sauce pork. And on top of that, we're going to finish it up with a little bit of uh, cornstarch and water. And what it does is it makes it, it, it thickens it up a little bit and makes it into a, a, a little bit of a, a glaze or a roux uh, for your sauce. And so when you pick up the meat, there's just more gravy on it, you know. It turns into a clear, a clear, a clear gravy. So that's how they do it at the Chinese restaurant, you know. They thicken it up like the beef broccoli, cornstarch, and water. But anyway, if you want to, like I, I like it, put some fresh Thai chili in there. So whoever wants it on the spicy side, they can just grab a chili pepper with their meal. Other than that, it's just regular. Now we're going to be plating that up with some hot, fresh jasmine rice. Look at that steaming hot so for me personally i like the fatty pieces uh they they hold a little bit more flavor you know and due to the fact that we've been uh boiling this for about 40 minutes it's very uh tender so just it'll just break apart lovely now what this meal is good for is uh everybody that works construction or goes on the boat you know that wants their lunch to last a little longer you just put the, the pork on the side and put your rice on the side and it'll, it'll last all day you know so of course the meal is not going to be complete without that boiled egg in there that kale egg uh, made in hawaii of course fresh island egg and some fresh J japanese cucumber locally grown so what the, the cucumber does is give it a nice fresh uh, crisp to the, to the meal, different te texture and uh, makes it a little bit more healthy for you. But there it is guys, you got your oyster sauce pork with your boiled egg, Japanese cucumber and it was all made with approximately 12 to 15 dollars. So you can feed your whole family healthy with the price of one McDonald's meal. Okay, the pork was five five something. I think it was six dollars. The egg was two, three dollars, you know. Cucumber, two, three dollars. Look at that awesomeness. Alright guys, I hope you guys try this at home. Of course this is part that I like the best. This taste test. I already know how good this is. <laughs> you guys know how good how good it is already just by looking at it so but anywho here we go oh my goodness yeah you got some lean pieces fresh cucumber Got the fatty pieces oh my goodness look at that look at that all right all right 
This is making me hungry. All right, guys. So here we are. Giveaway time. So check it, check it. All right. So this is the giveaway for the Aloha Edible Packet. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to split it into two. And I'm going to add some extra stuff in there for, for both of you winners. Instead of one winner, we're going to have two winners. All right. So the first one is going to be... Steve Abad. Yeah, you. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Steve. You, you are one of the uh, Aloha Edible winners. I'll be sending that to you uh, uh, via canoe. All right, let's go. Winner number two. Nara Onaga, yeah you. <laughs> Nara Onaga, awesomeness. There you are. Okay, we got our two winners. I'll be uh, posting the um, Blue Water Cowboy email link so you guys can uh, message me through there and uh, claim your price. And I'll be s shipping it to you guys with some snacks and. Uh, uh, stickers and some other stuff so okay awesome uh, congratulations you two good to uh, see your guys names again Steve and uh, Claire <laughs> Nara Onaga I just know Onaga because I met her at the store okay guys happy new years I'll see you guys on the next one peace out yeah